Hi children, how are you? Hope you are safe at home and following the videos, right? Yes. See children, we were in the lesson number 7 that is boys. Okay. And now we are, uh, in this lesson we were learning many things about boys. And in this session we are going to learn about one more important thing for the bird is a nest. See children, as we know we have, uh, we need a house to live. Right? We live in a house. We need a shelter to live, uh, to live and we live in a house, right? In the same way, birds also they need a house, right? And what is this? Uh, their house called? It is called as nest. Okay. And uh, as we know that all the birds they don't have the same type of legs, as they don't have the same type of beak, as they don't have the same type of feathers. In the same way, all birds they do not have the same type of nest. Okay. So today in this session we will learn about different kinds of nests. Okay. What we will learn today? Different kinds of nests of birds. See children, as I told that those birds they live in nests. And all the nests, all the birds they will not build the same type of nest. They will be building the uh, nest based on their requirement, based on their capacity for building the nest, and based on the things which we get. They get. See children, the, all these birds they will not build the same type of nest. Okay, they will be building different types of nests. Okay, now in this session we will see what are the different types of nests and which birds they will be building those nests. Okay? Yes. First one you see children, weaver bird nest. Weaver. Weaving, you know. See, there are, uh, we, you will be listening this weaving word in saris. See, they will be weaving the saris. Your mommy will be, uh, mommy she will be putting on saris, right? Yes. See, weaving means they will be uh, not stitching children. They will be see, stitching means adding two cloths. We know that. Okay, that is going to be doing that. But weaving means they will be making the cloth. Okay, so here they will be keeping one thread into the other and they will be making the cloth, not stitching, not joining the cloths. They will be making the cloth, right? In the same way, this weaver bird, what they will be doing? See here. The weaver bird nest, the bird which makes this type of nest is called as weaver bird. Okay, weaving the weaving we know, right? Yes. See here, children, this weaver bird, how, how they will be making their nest? They will be making their nest with straws, grass, and leaves. Okay, with soft material. See, children, how the bird nest will be, will be in this shape. Okay. See, children, here this will be hanging for a branch. The nest will be hanging for a branch and branch and here it will have a small hole so that the bird will enter into the nest and here it will be laying its eggs and it will be staying here in this part. Okay children, why this is giving the nest like this? Because it, it uh, this helps them to save their eggs and the uh, small babies, chicks from the snakes and all. Okay, so here children go in here. And then coming here will not happen for all the animals, right? Yes. So, this weaver bird nest, they will be making their nest with the help of straws, grass and leaves. Okay, coming to the second one, children. Tyler bird nest. Tyler. That means, here they is stitching the, uh, Tyler means, he will be stitching the cloths, right? They will be, he will be taking two cloths and he will be stitching them. He will be joining them. In the same way, this Tyler bird. See, the name itself. It is telling the bird that Tyler bird, what it will be doing? It will be taking long leaves and it will be stitching these leaves with one another so that the nest will be formed like a cup. Okay, it will be stitching with grass. It will stitch the leaves with grass and this uh, long leaf with grass and long leaves. Okay, and this it will make the nest as a cup. It will make the nest in the shape of a cup and it will be placing the legs and chicks in this hole. Okay, children? So, this is how the tiger bird makes its nest. It means a tiger bird stitches the long leaves, it uses grass and uh, long leaves to make its nest. Okay, coming to the third one, children, woodpecker nest. Already we told that woodpecker, where it will make the nest? It will be making the nest in the uh, tree trunk. Okay? And uh, it will be making holes in the tree trunk and it will be making the nest, right? Yes. So here the woodpecker it will be making the holes in the tree trunks and it will be making the nest. Next, coming to this children, penguin. See, penguins can they fly? No. Here, penguin is an example of flightless birds, right? Yes. 
And how we can make the rest dissipate? Maybe it has to stay in the cold, uh, snow covered regions, right? And how then it will be making the rest? Yes, it will be collecting some stones and pebbles and it will be making a small area of the ground. Okay, so that snow will not be there on the pebbles and on that it will be keeping these eggs and the babies. Okay, so that? So, the penguins they use stones and pebbles to make its nest. And these penguins they will be making their nest only on the ground, not on the trees. Okay, next. Sparrow's nest. This is already we are very familiar, right? Sparrow's nest, it will be like a small bowl. And it is made up of grass, leaves, straws and cotton. Okay, so this sparrow nest we know, right? It will be like a small bowl. Okay. And it will be building near uh, in the in some houses also we can see these sparrows nests. Right? It will be making on the trees. Sometimes it will be making in your uh, ventilators of your house. Okay? Yes, this is sparrows nest. And coming to the last one, then vultures nest. Vultures and eagles, see, uh, already we know that vultures and eagles will be flying at a great height. Right? And so they will be making their nest at the tree tops. And this vulture's nest also will be in the same way as a cup like the sparrow nest. But here the thing is, here the sparrow nest, it is made up of grass, leaves and cotton, right? But here the vulture's nest, it is made up of sticks and twigs, okay? Means it will be a hard, it will be hard, it will make the nest with sticks and twigs, dry leaves, uh, dry sticks and twigs. Okay, and these vultures and eagles they will be making their nest on the long trees on the tree tops. Okay, children. So these are about the nests of birds. See here, children. The first one is weaver bird nest. Here, the bird weaver bird what it will do? It will be weaving the grass and the straws to make a nest. Next, the second one is tiger bird nest. This tiger bird what it does? It will be taking it will take the long leaves and it will be stitching these long leaves with grass so that it makes the shape of a cup. Okay, and this is used as nest. Next woodpecker nest, the bird woodpecker, what it will be doing? It will be giving holes in the tree trunk. Okay, it will make a hole in the tree trunk and in that it will be giving its eggs and chicks. Okay, children? Next. Coming to the penguin nest. These penguins they will not make nest on the trees, it will be making the nest on the ground. How it will be making it will be collecting stones and pebbles and it will be placing uh, near uh, one place. And all that it will keep its eggs and the babies. Okay? Next, sparrow's nest. This sparrow's nest it looks like a bowl, small brown bowl. Okay? And it is made up of grass, leaves, straws, and cotton. Next, coming to the last one, children, vulture's nest. These vultures, eagles, there they will be making these nests, they will be making the nest on the tree tops. Okay, on the high tree tops, it will be making the nest. And twigs and sticks are used for making these nests. Okay, children? So, this is all about the nests of trees. Okay? Okay, children, now uh, we will learn about how to protect the birds. See, children, how to protect the birds. Nowadays, in, uh, when I am small, we used to have, we used to see many birds around us. But nowadays the number of birds it, it is being increased. And how to increase the number and how to protect the birds? Okay, how to protect the birds? Here they gave six ways to protect the birds. Now we will see how we can protect the birds. Okay? Yes. See children, here the first way is put some drinking water outside. See children, in summer they can't drink water, right? Yes. In summer season, animals and birds also they will not get proper water to drink. So what we have to do? We have to keep some drinking water near our window or outside on the terrace or something so that the birds will be coming there and they will be drinking the water. See children, in summer season, birds will not get water. No? So what we have to do? We have to take, keep some drinking water with my mouth and keep on the terrace so that the birds they will be drinking that water. So this is one way how we can protect the birds. And second one, see children, elevate bird feeders to protect them from cats. See children, few people, what they will be doing? They will be feeding the birds. They will be keeping some uh, grains for the birds. But what we are saying here, elevate the bird feeders means we should not keep the grains and all on the ground. If you keep there, when the bird is eating some cat or dog, it will be coming and it will be hunting the birds, right? So what we have to do, we have to hang these food. 
hang these grains. We have to keep them in a bowl and that bowl should be hung. So that the bird will be sitting on the handle and it will be eating the food. Okay. So that the cats and dogs they will not reach that place. Okay. So here the bird feeders should be elevated, should be kept in the height. Okay. Next, coming to the third one, children, plant native plants. See here, children, nowadays we are going on, deforesting, we are going on, cutting the trees. If trees are there, not there, where can the birds then be uh, building the nest and where they can live? So, what we have to do is we have to play, plant some trees. We should plant trees. Okay? Yes. Next, coming to the fourth one, put bird houses. See, children, if, uh, if it is a place, we can plant this, but in towns, See here, uh, apartment culture is going on and there will be no place for plants. And how can we plant more trees? For big trees, how can we plant them? So what we have to do? So okay, we can at least put bird houses. See, small small houses will be there. And then we can keep them so that they can live in them. Okay, if we plant trees well and good, they will come and build their nest and they will be living there on the trees. But if there is no place for plants, what we have to do? We have to keep some bird houses so that it will come there and it will uh, keep the eggs and chicks in that place. Okay? So, either we have to plant trees. If not, at least we have to provide some bird houses so that it will come and stay in that. Okay? Next, organically. See children, what is this garden organically? See children, um, one of our plants, if any pests we got, what we will do, we will be keeping some pesticides on them. Pesticides means uh, chemicals will be keeping them. Right? So what happens? The worms will die and the plant will grow nicely. But here see the birds will be coming there near the plants to eat those worms. The worms which they were dead. So as these worms are dead by eating the chemical poison, if the bird eats the same worm, what happens? Even this bird will die. Yes or no? So, by this we can we protect birds? No. So, what we have to do, we should not use chemicals for forms. What we have to do, we have to use organic matter. Okay, for example, see if worms are there on the plants, no need of keeping chemicals. We can keep some turmeric water or uh, we can keep some leaf leaves near the roots. Okay, so we have to garden organically. We should not use pesticides and chemicals for the plants. If we are using what will happen? The worms will die. On one hand, it is good, but on the other hand, the birds which are eating these worms, which were dead because of chemicals, even the birds will die. So we should not use chemicals. We should uh, garden organically. We should grow the plants using organic matters. Okay. Next means uh, which we get from the nature means neem leaves, we can use neem leaves, we can use turmeric, uh, uh, turmeric water, okay, uh, otherwise we can, leave, uh, we can use this uh, onion peels, okay, like that we can use, right, next, coming to the next one, see children, they use window slides, see children, the birds, have you ever observed the birds, they will be sitting here near our window uh, and it will be knocking the window. Why it is knocking the window? See, because many houses nowadays we are using the uh, one-way glass. Right? If you are seeing here, our image can be seen. So, what these birds will be thinking, seeing their image in the windows? Oh, one more bird is there. So, what it will be doing? Normally, when we see uh, someone, we want to make friends. Right? In the same way, these birds also want to make friends. Then what it goes? It will be going on, striking on the window. And it will be dying. So, don't use these window spikes. Okay, this is the maximum uh, effect which is uh, making the birds die. Okay, sir? Yes. So, these are the six points how we can save the birds. First one is we have to keep some drinking water outside. Okay, next one we have to keep the bird feeders in the height so that the cats and dog will not reach the birds. Next, we have to plant this wherever we have this. We should plant this so that the birds they can build their nest and they can be increased in their town. And the next one, if there is no place for planting the trees, at least, if there is no place for planting the trees, at least we can keep some bird houses. Right? Next one, we should not use chemicals or pesticides for plants. We should use organic matter. 
Okay, means we have to go in the plants organically. Next, the second one is we should reduce the window stands. Okay, children. So this is how uh, we can protect our birds. So children, by this session we have completed our bird session. Okay, in this bird session what we have learned? We have learned about feathers, beaks, nests, feet and claws and how to protect the birds or the birds fly. What are the features that help a bird to fly? Okay, all these things we have learned, right? Yes. Read the textbook once again, children. And try to observe the birds, their nests, their claws, their beaks. Okay, children? Yes. Take care. Bye.